Okay, so what I've done here today is um, just drawn up a little sketch for um, anyone who has the same problem as me. So I have a um, problem with my um, chamber on my um, steering column for when I'm driving with low beam. That's fine. When I flick over to high beam, uh, the switch doesn't go completely cross properly, and I end up with high beam and low beam on together. Now, if I tap the chamber a little bit more forward, the low beam will then cut off and the high beam will come on. And uh, the sketch here, we can just ignore where I've got battery there for 12 volt. I just needed to draw the diagram like that so the sketch would work. Um, so what you got, you got your low beam coming in and your high beam coming in. That's your standard 3 pin plug that you put into the back of the halogen bulb. Uh, old TNR. This is for halogen setups only, not for HID. HID um, has its own little setup. And um, so what, what I'm going to do here is to overcome my problem, is to, um, when I put low beam on, that will then, low beam will then come through on the connection 30 there. And you can see that the relay is not tripped, so the connection is directly through. That comes through and my low beam will be on. I'll put a relay on both sides of the car. And uh, so when I put my high beam on, as soon as there's power going through this circuit here, the relay trips over. 87, we're not going to connect to anything. That's just, we want it that way. So now that we've got high beam on, there is no possible way the low beam side of the halogen bulb is going to get power. This uh, mechanism in the middle here is just um, uh, just a, a um, power circuit that trips the relay. Um, basically, that's all it is. Um, so when your high beam's off, the relay flicks back over, your low beam's working, high beam on, trips back over, only high beam. This will also save your bulb, so you're not generating too much heat. Um, it's a common problem, the more heat you generate in your bulb, the less the life of the bulb. So um, I go through quite a lot of bulbs, and I'm sick of having to tap the chamber to um, have only high beam on. So. Um, you could use this for multiple reasons. Uh, so you've got something uh, in your camper van or, I don't know, maybe in your car. Uh, and you want something to have power when something else doesn't. And when you put power to this, then that doesn't have power. It's, you could use this setup for many things. And all you have to do is put this simple relay in. <coughs> Again, uh, low beam main line coming into the relay, high beam main line coming into the relay and all I'm doing is just patching it through so it will trip the relay to what light is going to be on at what particular time. I am going to do this to my car uh, however I'm going away for a little while so I won't have time uh, right now but uh, very soon I will. So um, hope this bit of information was useful to you. Um, I think it is, otherwise I wouldn't be making this. Alright, so thanks for watching. Bye.